If you sit a lot in your life, you are gonna love this little workout that I'm gonna to do today. I am calling it small ball or slouchy posture. Um, that could be if you maybe you sit a lot at work, maybe you're just like most of us, like we're on our devices and our phones and we're doing this way too much in our life. What happens is our muscles in our upper back get super tight, our shoulders get rounded forward, our hip flexors, part of the hip muscles get tight. So everything we do today is gonna to be designed to get some movement in your upper back to stretch and engage those muscles, um, to release your hip flexors and lengthen them out a little bit, um, and hopefully make you feel better when you do it. So I hope you enjoy. All you need is a small playground type ball to do this workout. All right, I'm gonna start laying back and I'm gonna have my ball right in between. For me, it feels like it's right in between my shoulder blades. I'm gonna support my head. I'm gonna use my Pilates breath as I inhale. I'm gonna let my back arch over the ball. This kind of feels amazing. You might wanna just hang out back here for a little bit. This is like the anti-slouching position. And then we're gonna to get to work and we're gonna tuck our chin and curl our spine forward. I just call this arch and curl. All right, we're gonna take an inhale. We're gonna arch back. Maybe you wanna open your elbows, that stretches the front of the chest. And then as you exhale, you're gonna tuck your chin and curl forward. I'm gonna do about five of all of these today. So we'll inhale, roll back. If you're doing them with me. Exhale, now chin toward chest and curl back up. We want lots of movement in that upper back. We want to feel our shoulders and chest open up. Make sure your hands are supporting your head, that you're not yanking on your neck when you are there. Let's do one more of those. And then curling up. Our right, next step is a little version that I call the corkscrew version of that. We add a little rotation in. So what it looks like, your feet are planted so that they can keep your hips kind of nice and anchored into place. I'm going to roll down the right side of my spine. It kind of feels like I'm leading with my right elbow. I'm going to go back into that arch or that extension. And then while I'm back here, I do a little side bend. And that ball kind of twists into my back. It actually feels really good. And then you're going to curl up the left side. And then you're going to reverse that. You're going to roll down the left side. And then once you get there, you're going to do a little like side bend while you're in that arch. And then you're going to curl up the other side. Remember, don't yank on your neck, but be supportive with your hands. You can inhale for part of that. And then exhale to come back up. This is great core work. It is great for getting movement in your upper back. That ball does like a little massage thing on your upper back when you do that twist. It really gets into those muscles and fascia and kind of moves them around a little bit so that you'll feel like you can move a little better through that space in your back. Okay, we'll roll down, come across, curl back up. I'm gonna do one more on each side. Inhaling for half of it, come across, exhale to curl back up. Feet are planted. Always we're engaging from our center, pulling our stomach muscles up and in. All right, and then I'm gonna come off of my ball. And I'm gonna lay back and use my ball for shoulder bridge. I'm gonna have my ball between my inner thighs because it just helps me engage a little bit better and keep good alignment. I'm gonna press my arms in. I'm gonna start with a pelvic tuck that really rounds out my low back. And then I'm gonna start lifting as I'm squeezing my ball and lift my hips up. This is a great stretch on the front of the thighs and hips, those tight hip flexors. And then I'm going to roll down and get as much movement through my back as I can as I curl and release my hips at the bottom. We'll do five of these. This is such a great exercise for building strength, but also just getting that mobility in your back as you roll up and down through your spine, feeling it connect to the mat. Right, we come up, we get our glutes and backs of our legs working, we lift our hips to roll up, and then we roll right back down. And we're all the time keeping our inner thighs kind of squeezing that ball so they get a little bonus work. I think we got two more there. Make sure you're breathing. I'm using an inhale to roll 
up and then exhale to roll back down, releasing my hips. I'm going to take one more here. And I might hold on this last one. This is a little bit of this. And just keep pushing my hips gently up. I want to feel like my knees and shins are shifting forward to really get this nice stretch in the front of the thighs and hips. Also feels like some work. Take a nice big breath and then roll back down. Again, getting lots of movement through your back. All right, we're going to come up to seated and add in kind of a little mermaid variation. I'm going to take the ball and I'm going to put it kind of right above my hip. And I'm going to lay down kind of on my ball. I'm just going to my legs bent, kind of stacked right on top of each other. And I'm going to lay and let my head lay on this bottom arm. Top arm, I'm going to reach to the ceiling. So what I'm going to do here is as I inhale, I'm going to start lifting my head. I'm doing this gentle side bend. My bottom arm can press in. It feels like my bottom waist gets to pull into the ball, and you will feel that oblique work. And then I'm going to come back down. So this is great for getting some side bending in your spine, in that upper back area. It's also really great core work that will help you with your good posture. So we can do like five of those. Inhale as you come up. Exhale as you come back down. Right, and you're, again, you're feeling your side waist. Just kind of pull into that ball. I think we got one more. And coming back. And then I'm just going to switch. We do that on the other side. And so I'll get all stacked again. I just have that ball. I kind of pull it into my hip. Of course, if you need to adjust it, you need to bring it out a little bit or bring it down. You can always do that. And then have my legs bent out here in front of me a little bit and lay in my bottom arm. And I'm trying to look straight ahead so my body stays in a nice straight line. And I'm going to bring, think about bringing my ear to my shoulder as I lift up. And then roll back down. And of course, remember to breathe. I'm using an inhale to come up. Exhale to come back down. You can switch that. Core engage. That sideways pulls in. So you get that oblique work as I lift and lower. My hand's kind of sliding in and out a little bit on the mat, so you can push in with that bottom hand to help you get a little extra side bend, and then kind of slide it out. Mine's making all kinds of cool noises. Slide. And then come back. Awesome. All right, we have a couple more exercises with our small ball. Next up, we're going to go into a little version of swan. So these are extension exercises where we're arching our spine, where I always call these anti-slouching exercises. We're working all those muscles in our backside that keep us from wanting to round forward, that pull us upright. We're just gonna use our ball to do it. With your legs, you can have your legs together, or if it feels better on your back, you can open your legs. Things you wanna key in on, stomach pulled up and in. A little bit of this, like, feels like a little pelvic tuck and push your pubic bone into the back so that you're supporting your low back. I'm going to have my hands on my ball, and I'm going to keep my elbows bent. You can play with this with a straight arm. If your shoulders are tight, that straight arm position might be a little too scrunchy, a little too tight. So I'm going to start with a little bend in my arm on this. And as I inhale, I'm going to start lifting first my head, my sternum, my chest, and I'm pressing in, and I'm kind of gently pulling the ball toward me to help me find the work in my upper back, and then rolling back down. There is no right or wrong how high up you come on this, and okay, this might be just a little lift your head, press in, and pull your shoulder blades down to feel that engagement, that work in that upper mid back area as you come up and down, and again, your favorite leg position. Let's take a few more. You can inhale as you come up. Exhale as you come back down. We want that rolling through the spine. Again, this is all about getting that movement through our upper back and strengthening those muscles so that we don't slouch so much. We have that better posture. And then coming back down. Awesome. All right, I have one more for you where we're going to sink the ball right back here in between like our ankle bones. Sometimes that's fun to get it in there. This is a version of our double leg kick exercise. So I'm going to take my hands to my back. I'm going to extend my legs and I'm gently squeezing the ball. Okay. I'm anchoring my hips to the mat by pulling my abdominals in and using my butt muscles, glute muscles. And I'm going to take a nice big inhale. Holding the ball, I'm going to do three kicks. 
which is a nice stretch on the front of my thighs. And then as I inhale, I'm gonna hold the ball, come up into my swan, and then I'll just turn my head the other way and come down and do my kick, kick, kick. Inhale, I'm coming up, I'm reaching and lifting. And then exhale as you come back down and that kick, kick, kick. Whole time my inner thighs are also working, squeezing in. And coming back down, kick, kick, kick. Nice big inhale, let's take one more there, holding up. And then coming back down. Yay, and that is it. Those are just some fun little exercises that you can do if you want to work on kind of your good posture, right? Keeping upright, not doing that slouchy thing all the time. Um, I hope you enjoyed this workout. You can find some more videos on our YouTube channel. Check us out, and we hope to see you soon.